Hello, 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 everybody. I hope you all are doing well. We are going to be playing Inscription. This is a roguelike horror, psychological horror, escape room like game, according to the description of the game. Another challenger has been ages. Perhaps you have forgotten how this game is played. Allow me to remind you. Yeah, so this is also like a card game. Play the squirrel. Oh. Okay, playing the squirrel. Now play your stoat. Stoat. Stoats cost one blood sacrifices must be made. All right, so he's pretty much teaching us how to play the game. So if it has a blood mark, that's I guess that's how many yeah sacrifices we need. Yeah, this game looks interesting, and I wanted to give it a try. Your stoat stands unposed. The number on the bottom left is its attack power one. And then three is the health. Okay. Your stoat dealt me one damage. I added it to the scale. You win if you tip my side all the way down. Like this. Oh, he's got a nasty finger. <laughs> Your stoat stands in the way of my coyote. My, my stoat dealt two damage to your stoat. That means your stoat's health is two less. If a creature's health reaches zero, it dies. It is your turn again. Wow, they really just threw us. Feels like they kind of just threw us in there. Oops, this card. How reckless of you. Uh, I probably should have drawn a squirrel card. Is that probably what I should have done? Because I can't really do anything else. Well, the stoat, the stoat won. Because you are learning, I will pass. You've drawn all the creatures from your deck. A squirrel is your only choice. All right, so squirrels are pretty much like our freebies, and they're pretty much just used as sacrifices. But I need more squirrels in order to sacrifice. No, you dealt one damage, so I put one weight on the scale. You know you can play more than one card per turn, right? Yes, I know. It's just I, I don't want to sacrifice because I want to have my stoat out there still. Okay, so now let us bring in what's a snapper. Snapper has high health. But well, let's bring in a wolf. There we go. And go. You won this match. They won't be all so easy. I mean, this was literally just a tutorial part. <laughs> Let me recall your story. Oh, yes. Oh. You were lost deep in the forest. A single path revealed itself. And that is where we move forward. Two denizens of the forest approach you tentatively. The caustic adder, damage from its poison bite is always lethal. And the undying cat, sacrificing the poor beast does not kill it. Oh, that kind of sounds good. Let me get that. Let's see how that works. Another creature joins your caravan. Some of the creatures of the forest seems willing to follow you. Okay, thank you very much. It's kind of like he's telling me or creating a story for me. You came across an abandoned sack. I found you found a squirrel in a bottle. Break in case of emergency. Okay, we have an emergency squirrel and have a second. Oh, now we have two emergency squirrels. Another useful implement. I'll allow you to tip the scales with it. I don't really understand what that means. Three is as much as you can carry. Okay, thank you very much. Let's move on then. You were ambushed while crossing some rough terrain. Oh, I'm sorry, what, am I ambushed by stumps with belly buttons? I'm so, I don't... <laughs> oh my gosh, he talked so fast, I didn't see what he said. Play along for now. Okay, okay. You may now see my moves ahead of time. Oh, okay, so he's gonna put in a cub. Oh, you just kind of reminds me of Into the Breach, where you have to counter the enemy's moves. Ooh, that's fun. Maybe I can get into it as much. Uh, we got a boulder. Oh, these are just obstacles in the way. So he's gonna have to break a boulder, it seems. Uh, let us see. Can I put down, like, a squirrel? And then put down a cat? Oh, what happened? Oh, I have to sacrifice for the cat. That's right. Alright, let's put the cat down. 
and then sacrifice the cat and then put down the stoat. So now we have an infinite sacrifice of the cat. And then now we have the stoat here. Here we go. And I guess that ends my turn. All right, he's standing in the bat. Mind ambiguous wolf, it ages swiftly. Oh, so that means it's gonna grow up pretty quickly then. Uh, let's bring in a squirrel so that way I can bring down a squirrel and then maybe I can call in a river snapper and then the river snapper can take away at the chip away at the stump and my hand is empty there we go I wonder if we can save the bottles like uh, I can just keep that around with me right the airborne bat flies over creatures to attack directly excuse me no ha my bat flew right over your stout they they just knew I was going to do that. All right, let's call in some help here. I think it's uh, very much needed. All right, Stout. We're going to need the wolf here. Uh, wait, what's going on? There we go. For some reason, I couldn't put it down for moments. Oh, if I right click on their cards, I can see it. This game has a pretty interesting interface. This is made by the same guy who created Pony Island. Oh, um, <laughs> hmm. hmm, do I want to use a squirrel right now? I feel like, I mean, there's nothing coming in from the stump side. So let's sacrifice the snapper and the cat and let's have wolf to wolf. Ding dong. Hey, there we go. Yeah, so there is a free demo of this game. So you guys can try this out for free if you want. And yeah, pretty much that's it. I was gonna say. Yeah, apparently, the demo was out for a long while, and the game just came out not too long ago now, from this time of recording. You prevailed and trekked onwards past the blooded terrain. I'm into this right now. It reminds me a lot of Into the Breach, and I loved Into the Breach. Just being able to see you're trying to counter your enemy in this way. The Meek Sparrow, an expensive, feasible, a flying creature. All right, so flying can attack directly. The young wolf cub, it grows into a wolf after a single turn. Interesting. Um, let's have a sparrow. Attacking directly sounds nice. Let's see if I can make use of that pretty well. Oh, you stumbled into something strange. Uh, some strange stones in the mist. Uh, you were compelled to choose a worthy sacrifice. One that will be lost forever. Oh, I have to. Oh, no, I can't get rid of my cat. Oh, I just got the sparrow, too. Oh, the cat's so good, though. I'm so sorry, sparrow. <laughs> you looked upon your menagerie and selected a healthy host. Um, this guy says, pick me. Sure. <laughs> what an honor. Thank you. You're the only sentient card I have, apparently. A ghastly spectacle, but the soul of the sparrow now lives in the stout. Oh, he can fly and he can attack directly. Oh, that's nice. You know, that would have been really good for a wolf, though. But I guess the wolf is harder to bring in because he needs two sacrifices. What the heck is that? Behold my totem. It inscribes my canine cards with airborne sigils. What? <laughs> No. Only keeps me around to watch me suffer. Okay, well, let me see what he's doing. What's this do? Airborne, a card bearing a strike point. Okay, so a coyote is now airborne, just like my stokes. Uh, it'd be nice if I can take these guys out first. Let's see. He goes first and I do go, right? Is that what's happening? Or do I go first? No, technically I go first. Okay, well, we gotta put down a squirrel. I guess I'll put him down here and then put down a stoat so we can get a direct hit. Back on board! Uh, can I? You cannot draw a card on your first turn. Okay. Well, here. Ding dong. Let's go. Alright, so I go first. My totem has granted my Cody the power of flight. And ouchie ouchies. Oh, that looks like I would have just lost there. Alright, let's put down... 
this guy and I guess I have to use emergency squirrel because I don't want to get rid of my stoat and I don't want to really be in that predicament all right so now let's bring in a wolf oh man these two both do the same attacks but I think I'm more scared of a cowdy I mean they're both equal technically oh well let's see what happens oh he's summoning another one that side oh I need more squirrels <laughs> I'm gonna end up using my other squirrel already, aren't I? Because I feel like this is not helping me too much. Oh, I could just get rid of him, but there's not really a point in using a snapper, so I'll just leave the squirrel on the deck. So we evened it up now, at least. Never mind, he brought it all the way back down. Oh, cat. Okay, cat, thanks, but I don't know how much of a help you can be now. Oh, the cat doesn't do anything either, I just realized. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> There's nothing I can do. That bat, I need to put something in front of that bat. That was a rookie mistake for me, I guess. Okay, well. Give me that card. What do I have? I have a wolf. Okay, I think the need is dire. Goodbye. Goodbye, stoat. Right, I felt like that was a really messy play, messy play for me. It seems like he's only going in these two corners, so let's just put down that, sacrifice cat and squirrel, put down a snapper, and I think we're good. We just have to win it back. You're four damage away from winning. I am. Thank you very much. I have no cards except the squirrel. Ding dong. All right, so he didn't play anything. He had nothing else to play. And we won there. Oh, but I used up one of my squirrel thingies. Impressive, you may yet survive this ordeal. Not gone wood. <laughs> this is fun. I'm enjoying this. Yeah, I'll leave a the link to the demo of this game in the description down below, as well as to. Well, I think they go to the same link or same page. Uh, let's see. Pokemon. The ordinary Pokemon sharp quills await those who dare attack. We got the adder and a stalwart snapper, a near impenetrable de defense. Ooh, what does he do though? Once a card bearing the sigil is struck, the striker is then dealt a single damage point. What about the poison? What's, how well is that? When a card bearing the sigil damages another creature, that creature perishes. Ooh, let's go with the porcupine. I feel like I don't have enough one one sacrifice cards. What is this? Oh, this is one of those thingies. Let's go to the campfire. That seems like nice. I don't want to sacrifice another. You came across a small group of survivors. Face stricken from starvation, they huddled around the campfire. They looked upon your group of creatures and beckoned. Come, warm one of our one of your creatures by the fire. One said. Warm it by the fire that will enhance its power, said another. You notice one of your survivors wiping drool from their mouth. Uh, I feel like they're going to eat my cards. Okay, well, <laughs> he's like, hmm, he's not very convinced about this. <laughs> okay. You know what? If... Wonder... If I give my cat, I, I don't know. I'm very skeptical about this. This, these guys sound like they're gonna eat my creature. You know what? Let's put down the snapper. It'd be nice if he did an extra damage. The fire warned the poor river snappers, enhancing his fire. One of the survivors reached towards it. Another gnashed their teeth. Without a word, you pulled the river snapper away from the fire and left. Okay, well, I was afraid I was going to lose the cat if I put the cat. Because the cat seems really good to have a damage. Oh my gosh, I completely missed my mouth when I drank my water. I just poured it into my chin. What is this? Grand fur. Alright, that's literally just blocking more spaces for me to put down. Oh, it's a sparrow. Oh, man. He Wait. A card bearing this sigil will block an opposing creature... Bearing the orbit bones. Okay, okay. I don't have to worry about that. 
So that means he'll be, he's gonna get blocked by the Grand Fur. I have to deal with this Grizzly Bear on the other hand. That's a nightmare. Oh, I'm lacking sacrifices. That's right. Ah, uh, frick. Um, here, let's put down the cat here because I need my kitty. And then let us put down. Ooh. Uh, I can only sacrifice one, so let's sacrifice a cat. And put down porcupine and see what happens from there. <laughs> Yay, one measly poke. Oh, there's more bears. This is this is bad. A thorny rebuke. Oh, and he's gone. I thought No, of course he wasn't gonna last. Um I guess we're in the defensive here. River Snapper, good luck. Good luck indeed. I guess I, my hands are empty. Oh, frick. We got a thingy there. Okay, um... There's a way out. Okay, so in this file cab cabin. Oh, let me go to back to the menu. For options. Because I made the dialogue speed fast, but he's talking way too fast for me to see what he's saying. Oops. Uh, Stoat? Stoat, good luck. Good luck, Stoat. This spot? You sure? I'm not. You're literally just there to kind of be a sacrifice, buddy. Oh my gosh, they're just coming at us. Oh boy. That's not good. Uh, I can only draw one card. Oh, he's a two. I need to use this. Oh, frick. Oh, frick. <laughs> this is not looking good. All right, that's the best I can do. Oh my gosh, they just keep coming. Did I just lose? I just lost. What the heck? They, there was just so many bears. Using this as a learning opportunity may be the only way to mitigate my disappointment. Get up. Get up from the table. Fetch me the candlestick from atop the barrel beside the door. Oh, hello. Look at this stuff. I can interact with it. That's cool. Got a clock here. Got this wolf buddy here. This is interesting. Very much lack of music, though. Oops, I blew that up by accident. What is this? Can I grab this? There's so many little things here. I'm pretty interested in it all. Uh, what did he say again? He wanted me to bring what to him? <laughs> I forgot. Excuse me, sir. The candlestick from atop the barrel. Okay. <clears throat> Gosh, my throat is a bit itchy now, just from speaking for him. Bring it here. Like here? Now sit back down. Oh, she's so, so demanding, isn't he? Let me explain something to you. That was one of your two mistakes you can make here. If you make another one, I must sacrifice you. Now, where were we? Excuse me, sacrifice me. Okay, I have two lives, thankfully. All right, let's go back here. Oh, the monster's grizzly. It forms, speaks enough of it. Oh, I choked on my words. The flight elk, it moves after attacking. I think the grizzly, grizzly sounds pretty good. But he requires three. It's gonna take a while. A group of starving survivors die in camp. There's room for a creature. Okay, yeah, pretty much the same. Okay. No way. This guy doesn't want to. Hmm. Break. If I can get a high powered grizzly bear on there, that sounds pretty amazing. Ooh, but a cat with one damage. That way everyone's doing damage. Let's do it. <coughs> Oh, that looks like a boss. Oh, hello. 
The trees seemed to close in around you as you chilled the most something. In the distance, you could hear the clinking of metal of stone. A hobbled figure stood in your path. Yeehaw! Does the prospector? Oh my gosh, he put on a mask. I'm loving this. Was that a boulder? Wait, what does this do? Do you, the user, you will place a weight on the scales. The pain is temporary. Oh, we're literally going to put something on the scales? Okay. Okay, okay. Can't draw, so let's put down a squirrel. Uh, coyotes in the pack mule. I'm going to scroll here. And I guess sacrifice and put it here because of the coyote. Doesn't look like the pack mule attacks us. Well, it has zero attack. Oh, something here. At the end of the owner's turn, the card bearing the citadel will move in the direction inscribed. Oops. Come on, let's not. Wait, did he have two abilities? No, these are just a list of abilities. <laughs> okay, okay. Alright, we got aware of the coyote. Now we got a wolf cub to deal with. And I don't have any squirrels, unfortunately. Oh. If I try drawing for the cat right now, that could help us. But it might give them a free turn as well. But I don't even have a choice. Because I need the cat. Oh, god damn it, it's a grizzly bear. That doesn't make things any better. Oh, jeez. Alright, I think the wolf cup's gonna become big problem very soon okay well i just have to take hits oh no 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 this ain't good come on kitty cat frick everything costs so much i'm so screwed by the rng here oh my god that was so bad <laughs> that was insanely terrible i i, I couldn't draw anything more gold for me Oh, he just grabbed my face. Oh, what the heck's happening? I think I'm being dragged out. Man, I got so unlucky there. You're not dead yet. This isn't purgatory. Though you may think of it that way. Before you expire, I must ask you a favor. I would like a memento. Your very own death card. Quite plain at the moment, isn't it? We will look work. We will work together to amend that. I want this to be the perfect memento of you. Here are some cards from your mediocre deck. Oh, okay. We can put them to good use. Please choose a card to draw the cost from. Cost. Oh, you mean? Oh. <laughs> um. That's the red part, right? So I wanted the least one as possible. The cost of two blood from the wolf. And this time, I'll use its power and health, the numbers. Oh, it would be so nice if I had the grizzly bear right there. <laughs> but you know what? I think... Oh, I think river snapper, I guess. That sounds pretty good. Now choose a card from which we will extract the sigils. Oh, wait. Infinite cat? Oh, hell, hell yeah. This sounds awesome. I never did ask your name. Uh, my name is... Haters. I'm just gonna type. Oh, that's it. <laughs> Taters the... Uh, Taters blue tongue. Naming it after my lizard. Blue Tong. Good enough. Tater's Blue Tong. There is now but one final matter. The portrait. Oh, that's a... Are you ready? No. You don't need to smile. Oh my goodness. This is so, so interesting though. This is quite a game. Here we go again. Another challenger. Gosh, my throat. Perhaps it is time. Perhaps you can understand bones. 
The resourceful possum costs two bones. Okay, so that way we're not really sacrificing. You gain a bone when one of your creatures perishes for any reason. Awesome. So if I put down a squirrel and then sacrifice the squirrel, I get a bone. Awesome. In the death of your creature, you've gained a bone. You will not you lose this until it's spent or the battle ends. Okay, well then, that was it, right? There's bones here. I can't use anything else. Ding dong, time to move on. Oh, the rattler just completely destroyed my guy right there. Um, oh, I have two bones, so I can't put down that thing. Straw card. Bullfrog. Oh, you defend against flying. Mighty leap. Oops, I keep pressing escape by accident. Okay, well, let's put down the possum because he's literally just going to be a bullet sponge. Oh, no, he won. Oh, he only had one health left. I didn't realize. Still got to get used to some parts of this game. All right, let's put down a squirrel. Sacrifice. Ooh, let's put down... Wait, how much damage do you do? You do three. Ooh. I guess let's put down... Take away the squirrel and put down the bullfrog for now. I only see it going worse for me if I was to sacrifice both for a wolf. Alright, so I got two bones here. Let's put down Squirly Whirly. And Yeah, I guess sacrifice both these and put down the wolf here to take out the rattler. I think he should be out of cards. It would be a very unfortunate if he wasn't, because I am out of cards. Okay, yep, he's out of cards. I managed to not take any damage there. How brutal of you. You dealt me more damage than you needed to win. However, in my game, such feats are rewarded. To be precise, a tooth to keep from each extra damage dealt. The trapper may be interested in your spoils. Trapper. Oh. I forgot your figurine. Get up and fetch it from me. It's beside the safe. Oh, those things. Can I choose? No. I want to choose, but I guess I'll grab this one. <laughs> what is moving in here? Is it a safe combination? Is it like somewhere around? No. What is this? It's a book. Wait. Oh, this is the combination. Two, seven, three. See if that works. Two, seven, and three. Oh wow! <laughs> Literally, that was just a combination. It's a stink bug. Oh no! I wasn't sure if I would ever escape that iron crypt. It's but is that stone around the stunted wolf? This madness must end. Put that away. There's a key here. But I can't interact with it. This looks like the key would probably go in there, but I couldn't pick it up. Can I talk to you? Nope. Oop, blew out a candle there. Hmm. Can I interact with this now in any way? No. Uh, okay then. Well, I got a stink bug. Let us continue. All right, what's here? The meager coyote. But what did you expect from mo for only four bones? That's a lot of bones, isn't it? The nefarious rattler, a brittle creature, once passed his monstrous fangs. Six bones? Dang. The unkillable cockroach. It returns to your hand after dying. That sounds kind of useful. I remember in Yu-Gi-Oh, I had like a mummy undead deck that did that, where I had mummy cards that come back to my hand every time. So in a way, they're pretty useful. You know, you're free to get up again. Keep your blood flowing. How do I get up? Oh, just press back. Aim no tyrants. You may stand whatever the map is unrolled. It allows me to plan your next encounter. But do keep your hands off my possessions. I mean... Oh, I can grab it now. Awesome. Alright, let's see if that key thing works. Ooh. Oh, yes. 
Open the open. What else? Is there cards in here? What the heck is this? It's a button. One. Oh, this is like the board game. Um, let me see. What can I move around? I guess this first one literally is just a tutorial, so I'm supposed to make it all add up. A skink. I forgot I had put there. There. Very well. You may add it to your deck, and I'll deal you one every so often. Okay, thank you. But you. Uh, let's see. If I move this up, I deal three, right? No? <coughs> what does this, uh, lizard thing mean? Oh, that one's locked in there. This one's locked in there, too. Well, let's see. What can I move around? Can I move this down? I gain one. Oh, is he doing damage to me? I'm supposed to just make it and he end up being the damage? Is that what's happening? Oops. Here we go. Nope, that's just one. I'm, like, brute forcing this, to be quite honest. So this is where we got four. How can I make you go five? Just need one more from somewhere. Ah, there we go. I had to move it down to my side. Ooh, worker ant. Minimal creatures, those ants. Very well. I will add them to your deck and make them available to future challenges. Oh, that sounds like I just make things harder for myself as well. <laughs> what are these? Oh, we got more of these. Hmm. <clears throat> Well, this one, oh, we only needed one more. Oh, awesome, did it. <laughs> Cage wolf, curious. Okay, that's it, he just says curious. Uh, one, two, can't move that. Two, still. Still two. Just brute forcing this pretty much. There's only so many combinations it could be at some point. Ooh, five. There we go. Somehow did it. Without having met her, the wood carving is meaningless. In time, you will understand its power. Oh, I mean, will it just be like more of a sigils? How about you? All right, I guess we're just going to continue on forward. But I think this one, I'm going to stop this part here. And that was really fun, guys. Let me know what you think of it. I'm really enjoying this so far and I look forward to playing more. So, thank you all so much for watching. Remember to like, comment, share, subscribe. And until then, guys, I will see you all later. Goodbye.